Hello guys and welcome to Sobrip Paranormal, where tonight the team investigate a private residence. Um, the things we know about tonight's location is that someone actually died here about three years ago. Now we've got permission to be here tonight, however the family have asked us not to disclose this location so it's going to be kept a secret for the purpose of this video. Now you're probably all wondering why Danny's stood like she's crapping her pants and that's because she is. Um, basically she suffers from a phobia, an extreme phobia of spiders and as you can see, the, the ceiling is absolutely littered with them. They're just everywhere. Um, but yeah, this house is just covered in dust. You know, it's 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 such a shame. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started and see what we get. Right, guys. So we've had a wander around the building, and now we're gonna get this investigation underway. Um, basically, what we've done here is we've come up into the actual bedroom where we leave a lady called Ham. Actually, spent most of the time. But as you can see, you know, it's been. It's just been neglected, it's not been touched for so long. Um, there's graffiti from vandals and things like that. Um, we do believe that she spent the remainder of her life actually downstairs in the living room, as there's a bed down there, and it seems like a lot of her personal possessions are down there as well. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to call out, try and get some sort of reaction. Anne? Simon, if you are here, could you please give us a sign? That you are watching us. If I know Simon's in this very room with us right now, I need you to move something in this room to let us know that you're around and that you can see us and hear us. So maybe knock on the door. From looking around, we know that you've got some sort of connection to the military. We don't know if that was yourself, or your husband, or someone else in your family. sign that you're here with us please. Can you make a noise or move something on? Keep walking towards us. I feel like someone's breathing into my breath. Do you know what I mean? Like blowing into my mouth. <coughs> Is that you? I feel like I'm wheezing like fuck, like I've got no breath. I think you should do an EVP in that room. We're definitely not in the Ah, Simon, if you're here, could you please show yourself? Simon, if you're here, could you please show yourself? We're definitely not in the Simon, if you're here, could you please show yourself? We're definitely not just going to fall into the We've got nothing to fear from this. We're just here to document the afterlife and prove that death is not the end. 
you died alone in this house. Would you give us a sign that that's what happened? Would you maybe move something on this dresser? Anything, any item on the dresser? Would you knock the photo over? Would you move the comb? Would you tap on the mirror? Can anybody else smell cooking? Hi guys, so we've just finished calling out for the first 5 or 10 minutes of the video. What we've done now is we've set the REM pod and K2 meter on top of the stairs, if you look here, look. The REM pod's actually on, K2's on one light, and what we're going to use here is the Olympus EVP recorder. Now, we've not used this one before in our investigation, so it's going to be the first time we've used this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on, I'm going to place it next to the REM pod and then just call out maybe 5 or 6 questions and then do a live review and see if we've captured anything. I know, Simon. If you are in this house with us at this moment in time and you can hear our voice, could you please come forward and speak into the little device I've placed on top of the stairs? Just give us your name so we know who we're dealing with. And this is a question for you. Did you actually die in this bed where we're stood right now? Or the bed downstairs in the living room? If you are really in the afterlife, then can you say the word afterlife? Finally, for Anne or Simon, what's littered all over the bed? If there's anybody here, Anne or Simon or anybody else, can you affect any of them devices that are at the top of the stairs? They won't harm you in any way. You have nothing to fear from us. We're just here to document proof that the afterlife is real, that you've gone to a better place. Are you angry that none of your, your personal business has been sorted out, that it's all just been left to rot? If you are, could you affect either of those devices? The little device with the green light on it's believed that you can physically affect that if you go and stand near it. That's just a visual aid for us to document that you're around. If you are here with us and you can hear me and see me then please go up to that device now and see if you can set it off for us. We come with the deepest amount of respect. I've put some photographs out on the top of the stairs. If you're in any of those photographs, can you set one of these devices off? You got that feeling again? Yeah, it's like, like I'm telling you, I can't breathe. It's like I'm, I've got like a proper wheezing. Do you know what I mean? You know, like when you when you when you've been out session and you've just like smoked too much, like forty mm. fags. I feel like that. If that's you affecting Kyle, can you affect me, Andy, or Becky in the same way? I've got an orb just floating straight upstairs. If that's you at the ball of light, can you go to the device that's just on top of the stairs? Right at the top with the little antenna. If you put your hand on that, it'll set it off for us. I know it may be difficult to do, but we'd really appreciate it if you could do that. Come on darling, if you're here, please try. We know that you died alone. Who was Simon? Was he your husband? If it was, can you set one of those devices off? Who is it that keeps making me feel kind of sick, like I can't breathe, like I've been smoking? If that's a spirit, or yourself, please affect one of those devices. It's really making me wheeze. If you're not happy with us being here, can you affect one of those devices or move something or make a noise right now, please? Did you hear a bang? I heard a bang, yeah. We are close to the road though, so there's a possibility of a car door. If you'd like us to leave and you aren't happy that we're here, Again, can you make a noise? 
or affect one of those devices right now, please. I feel absolutely sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm actually ill, like an ill person. You know, like there's some tablets and that. She might be showing you how she felt. I've got a sneaky suspicion that it was Anne that smoked. I, like bad, like she weren't an heavy smoker. Mm. That's what she's putting across to me. Is that true, Anne? Did you smoke? If you did, can you fell that little red device? What is it? Oh my God. Is there any power in this house still? No. Doubt it. It's, it's like coming off and going on. Well, my man, I'm telling you, there's someone on top of stairs. No, is I that think, you, Anne? I think she's gone, Leah. Here we go. She just responded to your, your voice, Danny. That was a proper response. Wow, that's insane. Thank you for that, Anne. Or Simon. I'd love to know which one I'm speaking to. If it's Anne, can you set that off and do what you did before? Set all them lights off if it's Anne that I'm talking to? Oh, yeah. It's going out, went off then. Just to confirm, Anne, if that is you, can you light it up if that's who we're speaking to? Is it you, Anne? What was that? Andy. Cold breeze, proper blasting in my face. I can, I can, I can feel, feel it. it. I heard someone talk. I can feel it. It's like proper nice cold breeze as well. It's like, you know, not, not a bad one. Becky, just grab that K2 at top of the stairs next to your head and see if yeah. you can get a reading. Yeah. See if you can get it on both devices. I know it might take a little bit more energy because there's two that we need you to affect now, please. We'll just try your hardest. And whatever you did before, can you do that again? Can you set them both off, please, Anne? Or is it Simon? Can you affect... <gasps> Whoa. Both of them. Both of them went off then, it's yeah. Simon. Simon, if you're here, buddy, well done for affecting those devices. However, can you do something else for us now? Right, guys, so Andy's actually downstairs on his own taking photographs. Now, myself, Becky, and Danny are still up in the bedroom. We're going to try a quick spirit box session now. It's currently scanning in magnitude mode, which is a mod that basically eliminates most of the static from the spirit box. Um, it is a noisy box with all that mode, so this, this hidden mode really does help. Um, as you can see, I've got it running through the Marshall Town speaker. Um, but we're going to just turn this up now and, and see what we get. So, your name's Simon. What's the name of your wife? <laughs> ah, did you hear that? I then? heard that in background. Right low. Whoa, did you hear it? Yeah. Whoa, but it come yeah. after. It come after me. I heard that. Thank you. So Simon, was that you affecting the device on top of the stairs? If it is, just say yes. <laughs> nice one, Simon. Thank you very much. Well, to hold up a few items if that's okay, and I'd just like you to tell me something about it, what it's called or who it belongs to. I'm holding up a driving license. Can you tell me whose license this is? The first name will be fine. Twice it said that now, it sounds like red. Oh, Ray. Who well, does this driving licence belong to Simon? Now, Simon, for the guys at home, is the gentleman that was married to the woman that died here. Um, I don't know if he died previously, I'm guessing he did. Wait. I believe that this lady had actually died alone downstairs on her own. Um, hence why everything's just still here. It's a really sad, sad place. So many memories scattered around. Which one of you guys smoked? Was it Anna or Simon? 
Whoever smoked, say your name. If it was both of you, say the word both. What did I say earlier about my chest feeling yeah. like I'd smoked? Were you a big smoker, Anne? Did you enjoy your cigarette? Give me two seconds. And can you tell me what brand of cigarettes you smoked? We've actually found some old cig packets as well, so... Brand of the cigarettes you smoked, Anne. So she was 78 when she died. No, 87. 87. 87. You can tell that she were popular. We all photos. I've had a look, and the most of them have got names on back and letters and postcards. Invitations. She had a lot of friends. Yeah, she liked. She used to like riding motorcycles with the looks. Um, so much history, it's such a, such a shame, you know, that all this is just left to rot, you know, but it just shows you what happens when you die and there's no one around for you, you just get wiped out, don't you? you just get left. I think she had an uh, exciting life though, 87's yeah. a good age as well. The late age, especially with the, the, the year that she was born, you know, 1930. Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable, it's so sad, I just feel sad in here, I've felt sad since we've got here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to head downstairs, we're going to meet up with Andy, see if he's got anything and then continue our investigation. Right guys, so we're going to make his way downstairs now. As you can see, Danny's got the K2 meter and she's going to see if anything's replicated on the way down. I know, Simon. Can you affect this device that's in my hand exactly the same as you did earlier? Can you make the lights come on? So this just proves whatever energy warrior was it's not gone. was not man made. It were an interference that's come from somewhere. So basically, you might be wondering what's going off, guys. Here, but as we've come downstairs and met up with Andy, the K2 meters have just been both maxing out. Um, to the usual case, you know, you can never really really document these kinds of things until they happen, because they happen when you least expect it. However. We're going to keep rolling from this moment forward and if anything's captured we'll throw it into the film. Is there a touch to this camera? Or? It's like the nerve. If I know Simon's in this room with us right now, just please give us a sign that you're here. Oh, mine's, mine's only going off one. I've got a freezing I have, I've just... When I go into the chair, look. Anna, you sat down? Yeah. 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 Take torch off it, please. Ta. You see it now, yeah? Yeah. Well, <gasps> and they're both going off here. Is this your chair, Anne? Is this your favourite place to be in the house? If it was, can you make them lights come on for me? I'm just going to snap <gasps> pictures. Oh my God, that's maxed out. On demand. Anna, you sat in that chair right now. If you can light them all up to the top. <gasps> Thank you. Just confirm that this is Anne. Light him up if this is Anne that we're speaking to. All the way to the top, Anne. Is it Simon? If it's Simon, light them up. Wow. Was that your favourite place to sit? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. I'm gone freezing. Oh my god, I've gone so cold. That's incredible, thank you. I'm taking photographs at the moment, so if you'd like to sit in your chair for a photo, that'd be absolutely amazing. <laughs> my arm's freezing. Is your yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. I don't really like ghost bumping. I have. I'm checking. Are you ha happy, Anne, where you are now? <gasps> what? Are you with Simon? There's definitely no power in this house, guys, so whatever's affecting that, you're doing it on demand. 
We're okay to be in this house talking to you. Can you make that go up to the red lights? It's okay that we're here. Please, please make that go to the top like you've been doing. Do you not want us here? If you don't want us here, put an additional two lights on each device. Do you enjoy it where you are? Yeah, it went on there to talk. Are you at peace? If you're at peace, make it go red. Yeah. Yeah. Is this your favourite room? The right foot is killing me. Is it? Yeah. What, like, like a, like a pain? Like a shooting pain, my right foot. Is that you that's doing that, Anne? You're letting us know how you were feeling before you died? Was it you that was affecting me earlier, my breathing? Yeah, it went up. Did that, you know, did you yeah. have two or three? like three. A bit of orange. Well, Try moving around a bit, see if it's just to eliminate it being... Yeah. Let me try and hold one of these devices over there. Anne, if you're with me and you can see Mine's me right now, off. could you affect this device? It's so much for them chairs, isn't it? Mine's going off to four. It's not there though, there's no... There's no power out, is there? Anne? Are you there? No. No power source whatsoever. This is crazy, this is on command. Is this your favourite room, man? Right guys, so we're almost at the end of our investigation. We've all gathered in the living room now, and what we're going to do is a quick PSB7 session, try and get some confirmation of the people that live here, that possibly aren't this place, and then take a few photographs and get out of here. Um, it's been a weird, weird Sorry. investigation, isn't it? I've heard stuff with my own ears, I've seen things with my own eyes. We had some insane, insane K2 meter activity. Um, what were you going to say? I was going to say that we've got two K2s, Becky's got one and we've got one here by Kyle's foot. But yeah, like you said, it's been insane, like hitting max or like something we on K2s. I think what we need to do after we finish this session is just go around and blitz as many photographs as we can get. Um, and obviously there's more chance of capturing something then. So what we'll do now is we'll turn this on. It's currently scanning. It's in magnitude mode. And magnitude mode for the people at home basically eliminates most of the static of the PSB7. So we're looking for confirmation here about the people that lived here. Good evening. Can you hear me? Is it? Keep that pointing to the camera. I know Simon, can you give us a sign that you're around us at this minute in time, please? Oh. Yeah. Not that. K2 went off, but. Both of them did. Can you give us a sign? I think Simon's strongest. Yeah. He seems Becky's to be has just gone off. Keep Becky's. He's just gone off now. Keep them pointing to the camera. Mine's going off. <laughs> Simon, did anyone die in this bed right here? Yeah. Did someone die in that bed? Me. Me. Sounds like a woman, well. woman as well. Who was on all the medication? I've seen a lot of aspirin, a lot of bandages and things like that, so someone's really had a problem with the legs. Um, well, that you, Anne? Problem with your feet or your legs? It's got a right smell of sick. 
Sick. Mm. It's gone now. It would, it would literally a couple of seconds. It just smelled like sick. It's got a right smell of sick. Sick. Mm. It's got a right smell of sick. Sick. Mm. It's got a right smell of sick. Sick. Mm. And that brings us to the end of our investigation, guys. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been totally different, something, you know, that we just didn't expect to do. Um, someone's actually died in this place, which is a known fact. Um, picked up on so much today, you know, I've, I've, I've heard stuff with my own ears. I felt stuff emotionally. I just feel so, so sad. Um, as I was saying to Danny earlier on, I feel like there's been some sort of family feud. And I believe that that's why the son in question is not, currently here sorting things out um, it's just real real sadness in this place but I've enjoyed it and I think we've got some good stuff have you found it Danny? apart from the spiders oh god <laughs> awful with spiders um, I have really enjoyed it some responses that we've got with K2 meters on command it's just brilliant the best that I think personally that we've got on any invest so far right yeah. little Becky wow have you found it mm. enjoyed it yeah Proper getting into this paranormal now, aren't you, Becky? <laughs> uh, slowly, slowly she's getting there. We will convert her eventually. Have you found it, Andy? All right, yeah? Andy don't like talking on camera, guys. <laughs> Andy's nodding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what we're going to do now then, guys, is we're going to go throughout the building now, one last sweep, you know, with the cameras and see if we can pick up on anything else. Um, if you do like our videos, then please do subscribe to us on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and the links you're going to see are here right now.